Ladies and gentlemen, the American jury and Bulldog Nation, Donald Trump weighed in all the going-ons as it relates to Joe Biden on an interview with Sean Hannity last night. And, you know, Trump laid it all out there. And, you know, I'm a, I marvel, I marvel at the kind of president and problem solver that we had that we went like 180 degrees to a complete political hack. I can only hope, and I hope this for our country, that a lesson is learned here and we don't repeat it again. Because you know what they're gonna do. They're, they will put forth another political gangster and tell everybody, now this is the guy. This is the guy. Trump was such a proven commodity. It is truly sad, sad what happened to him. And now it's really sad what's happened to our country. Uh, Kamala, you know, she proves it doesn't make any difference how many resets, how many attempts that they make to get her going on the right track. She's a flop. She just doesn't have it. Just like Joe Biden doesn't have it. This press conference was supposed to be the rejuvenation of Joe Biden, crashed and burned. You know it's bad, you know it's bad, when the likes of Van Jones and others say, this is bad. <laughs> I mean, you know it's bad. The polling on Biden it, it just fascinates me. Not only his negatives, his favorables, how people feel about the country, his competency, his cognitive. I mean, he is being just crushed from all angles relative to the polling. I mean, it's truly amazing. Alvin Bragg, the DA in Manhattan, soft on crime, doesn't apologize for his failed policy. He apologizes for the confusion of his policy. I mean, you always gotta ask yourself this question. Everything that goes down in this country by Biden, the liberal states, the liberal cities, if what they're doing defies logic and common sense, the only answer to why you would do that is somebody is making money. Somebody's benefiting. There's a political gangster involved. It's the only, it's the only explanation. Caitlyn Jenner, I tell you, I really like Caitlyn Jenner. You know why? Because Caitlyn Jenner, uh, despite her transgender uh, transition, Caitlyn Jenner is, and I judge Caitlyn Jenner as Martin Luther King Jr. instructs me to, which is content of his, her character versus his transgenderness. And Caitlyn Jenner is appalled at what's going on in NCAA sports with men and women. And what better advocate to speak out on that than Caitlyn Jenner, who won the decathlon as Bruce Jenner. So he can say things that have even greater credibility than all of us. But his policies, when he, when he ran for governor of California, I'm like, hey, this is good. And by the way, it just proves to all of those naysayers out there that you and I are able to look past uh, some things that we don't necessarily agree with uh, as far as lifestyle and whatnot to say, hey, that matters more than he wants to transition to a woman. Former Labor Secretary Reich, all three foot six of him himself, uh, put out a tweet that the Democrats should physically assault cinema from Arizona. I mean, he put that in a tweet. Since deleted. Since deleted. But I, it's unbelievable. Somebody who's three foot six, he might be three foot seven, I apologize. Alec Baldwin, he's now been sued uh, because he made a comment that somebody was an insurrectionist when they weren't uh, asking $25 million. That's just the initial request, of course. Alec Baldwin has an incredible temper. Incredible temper. Can you imagine what must be like to be Mrs. Baldwin and those kids 
being around Alec Baldwin in light of his uh, murdering that uh, woman and injuring that director, and now this lawsuit. I guess there'll be no more funny Saturday Night Live appearances by Alec Baldwin anytime soon. Starbucks. You know we're making progress on the Vax battle when Starbucks ends their mandate. By the way, the only reason that a company like that would end their mandate is because the mandate was hurting them. And they woke up to that fact. Uh, IRS is going to create a policy now where you have to send them a selfie of you in order to access your IRS records. Now just imagine the government play on that. They're gonna start using, you know, the cross checks and references departments, they want a photograph of everybody in America. Scary. If you don't think there's black privilege in this country, how do you explain a black teenager shooting his girlfriend 22 times? I wonder if Bruce Springsteen, the liberal uh, rock band guy, who I like, I like Bruce Springsteen, who did that one song, uh, 33 Shots or something, and that New York policeman shot that guy. I wonder if he's going to do a song called 22 Shots. This guy is out on bond. If a white man shot a black woman 22 times, what happens? What happens in this country? Comes out that Hunter Biden, it just goes on and on and on. Hunter Biden investing with the Chinese Communist Party relative to the NBA. And it is just sickening. Like Trump says, they're worried about his kids relative to a proper valuation or not. There is no prosecution at all, investigation at all of Hunter Biden. Hunter Biden lives the most charmed life that's ever lived. Can be a complete political gangster, criminal. Nothing happens to Hunter Biden. Is there some law written somewhere that says none of these laws shall apply to Hunter Biden? There must be. There must be. The guy that he got involved with this time, his name is Fran. And Jill Biden said in 2016, Fran is like a son to us. Ukraine announced, the president, there are no minor incursions. We spoke about this a little bit yesterday, but uh, <laughs> unfreaking believable. It's okay. Hey, hey, can we like minorly incursion into Mexico or Canada? Just minor. Speak of the IRS again, the IRS says in 2021, they may not have enough workers to process all the tax returns. Sounds good to me. <laughs> Independent voters. The New York Times sat down with 14 independent voters, registered independent, to gauge their opinion of Joe Biden. The overwhelming consensus of these 14 were, it couldn't be any worse. You know, I guess the only thing that could be worse about the Biden administration is China, North Korea, Iran, or Russia, invaded a country or bombed it, or we had a catastrophic terrorist act. Other than that, it is hard to understand how it could be any worse. Joy Reid, she says Florida passes laws uh, to make white people sad. You know, I can't find the character. I got to figure out who the character is. I don't know if it, I, I think it was on it wasn't on Saturday Night Live. Um, I think it was on that other show that was like Saturday Night Live. God, I cannot think about it. Where they had like this, on purpose, the most goofiest looking black woman, crazy lady. It was a comedic show. And it was so funny. I mean, it's the crazy, stupid thing she would say. Um, she looked like she had one eye going this way, one eye going this way. Joy Reid reminds me of that character. I mean, she, it's hard. To, Joy Reid is real? I mean, Joy Reid looks and talks and acts like some character in some comedy skit. I mean, it is, it is, it, it's, the, it's the comedy show that uh, Carrie 
and Jamie Foxx and all of them were, oh, I know what it was. Now I know it. It was a character that Jamie Foxx played. Jamie Foxx played a, a character on that show that reminds me of Joy Reid. Lebanon schools near here. Remember, it was out in California now, it's, or Washington. Uh, apparently, they've approved it after school Satan club. By the way, folks, there are many religious people who believe that we are in times. And I want you to know that I don't have any ability to refute that. What's going on in this world? Uh, when you look at schools having Satan clubs, when you look at the attacks upon religion, uh, the secularization completely of our society, and what did, I'm, I'm a Catholic. A good Catholic knows that all of the visions of the Blessed Virgin Mary to all, of, whether it was from Fatima, uh, all, all of the visions all focused on wanting Catholics to pray the rosary, and the concern was about communism. The concern is about communism. So if you're a Catholic, I don't know how you don't sit there and think, is this what Mary was talking about? It's truly amazing. <laughs> By the way, speaking of amazing, one would think that our candy could be left alone, right? Our candy, no, 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 no. M&M's, Instead of them having all the same kind of tennis shoes, some of them are going to have stilettos, those talking M&Ms. They're going to diversify the talking M&Ms like it makes a difference. It's unbelievable. I got a comment on, on some local politics. Jerome Girding filed uh, for a statehouse seat in uh, Wilder. And I uh, can't make this up. He's got a record of domestic violence charges against him. And we got, we got Ben Dusing filing for family court when his, he's a train wreck when it comes to domestic issues. And he wants to be your domestic relations judge. Unbelievable. Uh, I'm going to switch these last two. Kentucky redistricting. The Democrats filing suit to try to stop it just like the Republicans uh, or Democrats did in the state of Ohio. So redistrict, Bashir vetoed it, Republicans override it, but it's not going to be over any day soon. I wonder if they'll extend the filing deadlines again. Uh, last but not least, Meatloaf passed away. Apparently had COVID and some underlying issues. Uh, he was in his 70s. Hate to see old Meatloaf. Bat out of hell. What an album. Two out of three ain't bad is my favorite song of his. Um, but it, it, he was just, great songs. And what was that one? It was almost like an operatic. Uh, I won't do that. Great song. Uh, but two out of three, you know, the lyrics of two out of three ain't bad. I love you. I need you. But I, I no, I need you. I want you. But I'm never going to love you. But two out of three ain't bad. I wonder if any men have tried to say that to their girlfriends walking out the door, didn't get hit in the head with a baseball bat. <laughs> I mean, meatloaf. You gotta love meatloaf. This is the Bulldog. Every dog has their day. I hope you have a great weekend.